Hello friends, it's Claire Daly here in wintry Melbourne today. Got a bit of rain happening and um, it's a bit of a quiet afternoon at my house with people at work and school. So I thought I would give you a um, rundown on some of the cards that I've made with the Masterfully Made Sweet collection. This one jumped right out at me in the annual catalogue. Um, I just love the... I guess I call it fresh vintage look of the paper, um, sort of a vintage vibe, but also very bright, clear colours, which um, I think give it that really fresh approach as well. So I love the tearing, I love the punched edges. Um, so this one jumped right out at me. And these cards I'm gonna show you today are actually the ones that were in the display that I did at the, um, at our 35 for 35 event with Sarah. And um, yeah, so I thought I would pop them up on my YouTube channel so you could have a look as well. And um, this this suite is also one that I have an immediate download PDF class available, which can be purchased worldwide. So if you're interested in that, you'll find all of the details down below. So my classes, um, can be used by demonstrators right around the world in their own in-person classes. Um, and yeah, so if you're looking for some ideas for the masterfully made suite already done and measured for you in both imperial and metric, this could be handy for you. Anyway, let's have a look at the suite to start with. You'll find it in the annual catalogue on page 102. So the suite is called Masterfully Made and the bundle is called Gorgeously Made. So the suite includes this um, beautiful collection of um, designer series paper, the Gorgeously Made designer series paper, sorry, Masterfully Made designer series paper, and then the Gorgeously Made stamp set and the coordinating dies. And you also get the adhesive trio, adhesive sequin trio, pack which has three colors white pretty peacock and berry burst so it coordinates beautifully so that's what you get in the suite and um, i'll show you what i've used today on various things as well so just having a look at the stamp set you get these beautiful foliage you get some of this nice sort of shabby texture and then you get this nice border sort of again vintagey border there um, hello, thank you, you're a great friend, are the sentiments. I love sending hello cards because they can be so um, generic and they can be for absolutely any purpose and you're a great friend. I mean, who wouldn't love to receive a card like that? So it's a um, Kling stamp set. So um, Kling rubber, red rubber. And then in the dies, the coordinating dies, you've got the ones that cut out the foliage. Um, you've also got this torn, um, torn label, which fits all of the, sen the sentiments in it, which is lovely. And you also have these edges. So you've got this torn edge and you've also got the um, comb edge as well so that gives a nice bit of interest to the edges of your paper so we'll pop those back so that's the gorgeously made dies and the gorgeously made stamp set so you'll notice that from now on in stampin up catalogs the dies and the stamp set have got the same name how awesome is that um, so it makes it much easier to find the coordinating dies. Let's have a look at the designer series paper. So it's a 12 by 12 set. Um, I just had used part of this one. So you actually get 12 sheets. So you get two each of the designs, double-sided designs I'm going to show you here. Um, so this one um, has much the same pattern on the other side for there, if you're wondering. Um, beautiful fresh freesia, berry burst, and the azure afternoon, one of the new colours um, and then on the back there's lots of um, torn paper, a torn paper thing there in nice bright colours. This one looks super busy and you think oh my goodness what can I do with that but I'll show you um, how I've used it and also just using small pieces or even popping some vellum over the top is a really great way to um, 
to use a paper that's really busy. And then on the back, you've got um, lemon lime twist, um, a torn paper image. So I just love this, even on a scrapbook page. I mean, I just think that's gorgeous. Such beautiful, bright colors. This is one of my favorite sheets in the pack. So you've got the Azure Afternoon, um, you've got your, your Berry Burst, Fresh Freesia, and then you've got your Lost Lagoon in there as well. It's just so pretty. It looks like a, a meadow of flowers to me. And then on the back there, you've got your pretty peacock um, paper, your, just your monochrome one. Here's another one that looks like a meadow, a little bit brighter. You've got some of the crushed curry, curry flowers in there as well. Um, so it's a little bit brighter. And then on the back, you've got your fresh freesia. This one here, you can just cut down the middle and actually use as cards, and I've done that um, in my card sample, so I'll show you that in a tick. It's got sort of some newspaper print in the background on the Lost Lagoon bit. So when this paper was actually made, they actually did make flowers like that, paper flowers. And um, as I mentioned, I used this in my 35 for 35 event, and I was so excited about these paper flowers that I had to source paper flowers to put on the walls at our event um, and Michelle who was coordinating the event with me was laughing because I was a little bit obsessed with these paper flowers um, so every time I see these bright pink flowers that brings back that memory uh, happy memories of our event and um, the fun that we had so on the back here we've got pretty peacock um, again a monochrome um, one with the torn papers so let's have a look at the cards that I've made. So let's start with this one. Um, this one is, I've used that beautiful meadow paper and I've used some of the countryside corners. Um, this, the countryside corner dies because they've got that nice, interesting shape there. And for these flowers, I've just used the um, Petal Park punch. That was a carryover from last year's mini catalog and um, that makes lovely flowers three sizes of flowers which you can just layer up now to get that really real vintage look that i've got here what i've done is i've actually punched the flowers out of um, fresh freesia cardstock so i'll give you a better look at those and i've actually just really scrunched them up put them into a ball rolled them around in my fingers to really loosen the fibers in the cardstock and um, that gives you that real vintagey look on the flowers. And then I've just layered them um, with popping them up with um, dimensionals in between. Um, and that lit, those little embellishments there, they are one of the adhesive gems um, that we've got in the catalogue this year. So the adhesive back um, tinsel gems three packs, right? This one here um, actually coordinates really well with this suite as well. So that's what I've used in the middle of those flowers. So that's that one, a thank you card. And I've just used a bit of ripped paper just to carry that whole fresh vintage theme. And then on lots of these cards, I've just used some white twine just to simplify it. So you'll find the white twine in our Baker's Twine Essentials pack where you actually get five colors. Um, so you get the gray granite and you get the very vanilla crumb cake, um, you get basic black and you get white. So that's a really good basic to have to use for your cards. This one here is that paper here and as I mentioned extremely simple I've just cut that paper into three bits and um, I've actually cut it and I've actually layered um, a piece of berry burst cardstock underneath it just to give it a bit more of a pop of colour um, and then I've used some of those um, sequin adhesive sequins in the Pretty Peacock, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. Really love those. So that's the way to use this paper. Put this one down. This one here um, is very bright. So you might not be able to see it, but I've actually used the Patchwork Pieces dies um, for that paper. But if you didn't have that, you could just cut that square. So I've cut a couple of the um, die cut a couple of the foliage pieces in white and melon mambo um, just some metallic thread there which comes from the simply elegant thread pack you get the gold and the silver in that along with some white twine and then to um, 
make my sentiment really stand out there. I've um, put that white, I've embossed that in white onto black. So for my background here, I've actually um, stamped some of the foliage stamps in Melon Mambo onto Melon Mambo. So that stands out. So that's quite a bold card, but I really love how that turned out. This one here, I've gone for the torn edge on the bottom and I've gone for the comb edge on the top there. Um, used another one of those little flowers, um, tinsel gems, and with the gems, a bit more torn DSP there. And this is one of the die cuts which I've done. So, and I've popped that onto a circle from the stylish shapes. So I've used that a few times, the stylish shapes. If there's any uh, any uh, product in the same way that this is like a real basic product that you need for your stamping, Stylish Shapes is fantastic um, die set because you get um, sentiment um, banners, you get squares and you get the circles in various sizes. And I just find I use them all the time. You know, that subtle stitching around the edge just really makes it stand out, I think. So there's that one on white. This one here. Um, it's, again, I've used that beautiful meadow paper onto some of the pretty peacock and then my um, my die cut here is in fresh freesia and again I've used one of those stylish shapes. So on the back here I've just done a couple of um, twirls of the um, Lost Lagoon ribbon from the mini catalogue as well just to give it a little bit more texture. So there's that one. Now here's how I use that really bright. This is actually a case from one that's in the catalogue. I've just used a small piece of it. Um, I've used the comb edge on it and then some of the die cuts either end. Um, and then we've got one of those um, flowers from the Petal Park Punch. A couple of bits of paper there in Pretty Peacock and a little sentiment. So, and again, I've used some of that Simply Elegant trim. I find I'm using that a lot, and I, um, lately, but also I just, again, that's a really gold and silver, um, a really great basic for your cards. And then for my final card here, I've used this piece. Um, so again, you can cut that, you can get six of these cards out of a piece of this paper. Um, so I've cut that, I've used some of those um, Trio Gems, and this bit here is just a piece of white, whisper white or basic white card, white cardstock. And I have stamped that um, foliage, or sorry, the um, script stamp, this one here, onto it in Fresh Freesia um, before I did some tearing and the edge on there. So I've used As Your Afternoon for cutting out my um, foliage why not have some blue foliage and then I've used the punch to create the leaves and to create that cute little flower and again I've used my white twine very basic there so that one is on as your afternoon which is a nice um, blue color that you'll find in this suite as well so I hope you really like these cards. Um, I will link down below to all of the products that you can purchase. If you're in Australia, you can purchase them through my online store or you can order any of them directly with me via text or um, phone or email, um, which I'd love to um, chat to you and be your demonstrator, provide catalogs and things to you. So you can order them all. So you'll find all of the links for the products below. And I'll also link below the um, immediate download PDF class. As I mentioned, instructions are in Imperial and Metric, so they can be used right around the world, anywhere that has PayPal. And with the amazing, um, amazingly low Australian dollar, it's extremely, um, extremely good time to be purchasing my tutorials for example this tutorial costs under less less than ten dollars us at the moment um, because of the cost of the dollar so if you want six ready-made cards all the measurements and instructions there that are okay to use in your own in-person classes as if you're a demonstrator or just to make up the cards yourself if you're not a demonstrator um, and to buy the, the products from your own demonstrator um, yeah you're welcome to do that so I'll pop the link for that below so I hope you've liked this look at the um, masterfully made suite I think it might be my happiest suite out of the annual catalogue so hopefully you will have a look at it um, just a reminder I think I said it was on page let's have a double look it is on page 102 
Um, so certainly have a look at that beautiful suite um, because just making up the cards will make you happy, I think, using all those beautiful bright colours. So thanks for stopping by and watching my video today. I will um, be back again soon with another video. Thanks for watching.